Good morning. It is 6.05 in the morning right now. Just got back from a 5.15 gym class. And now I'm getting a little practice and I have a dance lesson later today. So I'm gonna spend like 15, 20 minutes actually practicing. Trying to implement that every single day at least, you know, or multiple times a week, you know, just 15, 20 minutes of practice to continue to loosen up and have fun dancing. So you like my never been better hat, courtesy of my cool father-in-law. Um, interesting morning, been spent most of the morning actually in the studio editing my Omegle video. <laughs> I think it's cool, I think it's fun. It was a beast to edit in the sense that like it kept crashing on me. Like my program just kept, Adobe just kept crashing. I don't know why, but just kept crashing. So it took a little longer than it probably should have. And plus I'm like, it's new to me, it's new editing, it's new style of video. So I'm kind of just trying to figure out how I want to edit and stuff. So it took a little longer than normal, but um, I'm excited to post it. But I have to post it and <laughs> we don't have Wi-Fi because I hadn't paid the bill. <laughs> they raised the prices on us and I wanted to contact them to say, why did they raise the price? And I just kept putting off the contact. <laughs> and they turned the Wi-Fi. So I called them and I paid the bill <laughs> and I got money taken off uh, <laughs> But it's taken longer than it should have to, for the Wi-Fi to turn back on So I now had to call back then again for support and they had me like reset the router Unplug the modem and everything and, and trying like troubleshooting that um, But that's who I'm on the phone with right now and we're trying to figure that issue out But I did pay it wasn't that we you know, I was just like why did they raise it? I wonder before I paid the bill and wanted to know why they raised it Apparently our promotion ran out, which is accurate because we've been in this house for two years as of February and February was when I got the Wi-Fi two years ago. So that kind of makes sense, but they were able to take off, I think five or $10 a month. It's still like expensive though. It's like, I mean, without that little five or $10 promo, it was like $90 a month now. That's a lot for Wi-Fi. It was like 70 before, which is still a lot, but I mean, hey. No luck with <laughs> the internet service. Uh, they didn't know what the issue was, so they're sending a tech. They're gonna come call it an emergency. <laughs> the window is 8 a.m. to uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'll be here, so no big deal. Uh, but it's funny. They said I could try resetting it and stuff throughout the day, and if that works, great. If not, just wait for the tech. I don't know, it seems a little fishy, but whatever. You know what? It's been a while since I've had a cup of espresso. All right, Mr. Troops. Hello, Mr. Boops. Mr. Boops, you want some? You can't have this. You don't want that. All right, but be a good boy. We are on our way to our dance lesson now. It's a little rainy and cold. It's funny to realize how much <laughs> I actually use the internet on a daily basis. Like, and plus now, granted, I still have my phone and stuff. Like, I can still go on the internet with my phone. It's wild to see how connected we are to the internet. It's actually really wild how much I use it. Like, I can't upload a video. I can't send myself a TikTok from my computer to my phone. Like, it's, we use the internet for everything. Holy smokes, that dance lesson was hard, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> learning some new moves. I have two things to practice, two things of homework. One, I have to watch Dancing with the Stars. And two, um, she wants a video of me just completely rocking out by myself like no one's watching to my music because that's what we tried today she had some of my music and she's like all right just you know be you free because she's like i want i want to see you be unapologetically jacob like she's like lady gaga's unapologetically lady gaga like michael jackson was michael jackson you be jacob you don't try to be anybody else but who you got to find who jacob is right and the answer to that is i don't know so we got to figure it out what find what seems natural what feels natural what looks good and putting things together like that so a little bit difficult breaking out of my shell <laughs> but it's good man you know what's funny is i have not felt this way since like my first vocal lesson that i took from my friend Melissa, actually, you guys know Melissa. She was actually on Drinking with Jacob as the, the the wedding singer. She like gave me like I don't know a two one or two months worth of vocal lessons when I was like 15, and I like literally literally couldn't get a note out. Like I was so nervous that I actually couldn't even like sing. Like I couldn't get. She's like, okay, can you hit this note? And I was just so nervous, and that's exactly how I felt today. She's like, okay, just act free, and I'm like, 
a deer in headlights don't know what to do so it was funny but the pro the cool part is like i remember being there with vocal lessons or like you know for the two months that i took lessons from Alyssa, and um now look where i am now so i'm excited to see where i go with dancing but it's just funny do you want to go for a ride buddy you want to go for a ride you guys playing Just getting a little work done over here with my business partner. What are you doing? Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. Did you guys have fun with each other? You guys were crazy. You were all very crazy. Time to go home. So I actually had a very cool conversation with my vocal coach today while we were having our lesson. The first half an hour was actually a lot of just talking and, and working through some things like just talking wise and one really interesting thing we we're talking about between the vocal lessons and the dance lessons today it's like man all these things that I never would have had to think thought I would ever be thinking about or having to do and it's just really interesting and she was saying how it's like she's like yeah you're really coming into your own as an artist you're trying to discover now who you are as an artist it's not so much you you know having to learn the guitar or writing songs that nobody's heard before it's like now you're at a place where you get to, to, to where you get to decide who you want to be as an artist, who you want to be known for, what you want to portray, what you don't want to portray, how you want to express that, and it's very exciting actually. It's it's fun, exciting, and very new. It's a it's a growth for sure. It's it's cool. Okay, I am very tired <laughs> from the physical work today, like dancing and vocal lessons, to the emotional work of. <laughs> I don't know how my parents watched the dogs for three days because that was exhausting being there for three hours. I give them a ton of credit. One thing my dance instructor said is she recommend, she's been recommending for a couple of lessons now that I check out and consider doing yoga to help me loosen up and, and to, to loosen up my body and just kind of get loose, <laughs> which I think is a very good idea because I do feel attention and I do think it'd be really helpful. Um, so I, like a, about two years ago, a little over two years ago, I did some video work, actually, video and photo work for a yoga studio. I haven't spoken to them in a while, but I reached just back out to them and said, hey, you know, I, I'm the guy that did the video work for you. Like, I'd love to hear more about your yoga studio. Maybe I can actually work something out where I do some video or photo work for them again, barter them. <laughs> so I'm spending a lot of money on dance lessons and vocal, mainly dance lessons. The dance lessons are very expensive. The vocal lessons are much more affordable, but, um, I'm doing a lot of them. You know what I, I could really see happening? First of all, I'm, I'm aiming towards my goal of the 500 person show. But you know what I could really, really see happening? I could really see through these interviews, through social media, through just connections in general. I don't know how. But what I could really see happening is me getting picked up by another band that's bigger than I am and asking to go on tour with them, or me offering, me just flat out reaching out saying, hey, you you guys are going on tour, I see you're going on tour, do you need an opener? Can I open for you guys on the tour, on a couple shows? Just put myself out there. Or somebody asking me, I could see happening. That might be the next step that I might try to reach for, because that seems really realistic, where like, I can't pull 2,500 people at a show yet, but like, and I'm not talking like somebody like Ed Sheeran that is playing Wembley, I'm talking about somebody that's playing like a 2500 person venue like a 15 to 2500 people venue i could see myself opening for that and playing three five seven songs for them before either one more opener comes up and then the full band um or right before the full band i could see that happening very realistically i think that'd be really cool but now my dance instructor wants me <laughs> The homework for this week, like I told you, is she wants, I don't know if I said this actually yet, she wants me to film myself by myself just going completely free and nuts and dance and just be completely free to one of my own songs and she, we're going to watch it back together and then we're going to dissect it. She's going to say this works, like what what looks good, how we can take those good parts and turn them into like a cadence, Find finding who Jacob Restituto is and who he is as a performer um, and who he is deep down, where he, he lets go of what people think and, and stop caring and finding that, that performer that's naturally inside. Um, so I'm going to start practicing. I, my next lesson's on Tuesday, so if I, I want to kind of practice the couple days and do some stuff and just dance, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not even going to film this one because I don't even know what to do. <laughs> but just get lost in the music, essentially. Let's try. 
<laughs> okay, update. I'm out of breath. I went through nightlife once. I see where she's going with this. I I haven't even filmed it yet, and I just keep my eyes closed so I don't even have to look at myself. <laughs> but I see just in just doing random things, what feels natural, what I like, what I want to do more of, what I don't like, in just one go around. Now I'm gonna practice this more and more, just do random stuff, and I can see how this would work. Dude, this is a, I'm like sweating and out of breath. This is a workout. Also, this just showed me how far I can go doing a split. This is kind of interesting, look at this. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed by that. 